Hi and welcome back. Um, it's Christmas Eve so I thought I'd do a really quick studio tour for you as an extra video as the studio is looking really lovely with the Christmas tree and I remembered that since moving house over a year ago I still haven't done a studio tour so here we are. My studio is um, set up in this lovely bay window. It's in the basement of an old Victorian mansion block. Um, and so it's nice and spacious, plenty of natural daylight that comes in through those lovely big windows. I usually try to paint first thing in the morning or a bit later in the afternoon um, because I prefer to paint in natural daylight. Um, I find it a nicer light for my eyes and for working out colour mixing for the painting, for especially for demos for YouTube and Patreon. I've got lots of old quirky cupboards, shelf units, chest of drawers, that sort of thing that I've found in thrift stores and antique markets. And that's where I store all my equipment. And of course, the most important member of staff in the Davidson studio is Chaya. Chaya is my beautiful cat. He's a bit of an old boy now. He's about 15, so he's getting on a bit, but he always keeps me company when I'm painting. So let's take a look at my paint brushes. I keep them in various jars really littered around and I've got a huge range of paint brushes. Just about every artist has the same problem. We have far too many brushes. Um, they're really exciting things to buy, especially when you first start painting. But then you end up buying all sorts of brushes that you don't really use very often. And I think that's the difficulty. And I think like most people, I go through phases of preferring different types of brushes at different times. And at the moment, I'm enjoying um, synthetic brushes by Escoda, Da Vinci and um, Princeton. And I've got some Cotman brushes, um, Ron Ranson Pro Art Haki brushes, um, unbranded Chinese calligraphy brushes, all sorts. With paint, um, I mostly use um, Cotman student quality paints. Um, don't be fooled into thinking they're poor quality just because they're student quality. They're actually lovely. I find them really good. The light fastness is excellent. They're really nicely pigmented um, and they're very good value. And I think especially when you're first starting out painting and you need to practice a lot, that's so important that you're not inhibited by the price of your paints, that you can paint freely. And Cotman are very, very good value, especially if you buy them like I do in the 21 mil tubes. They're only about a fiver a tube and one of those tubes lasts an awful long time. So along with Cotman paints, um, I also use our own handmade Davidson's pigments a lot of the time, which are professional artist quality paints. Um, I use Jackson's artist quality paints and I've got a few Windsor and Newton ones as well. Um, so those are my paints and I keep them in this sort of demi loon um, storage chest that I found in a charity shop. and. It's really useful for keeping each different brand or type of paint separate. And as I usually buy paints in particular colours in particular brands, I always can easily find the one that I'm looking for. So on to the other side of the studio where I've got my wonderful Christmas tree set up in front of my bookcase. And I like to sit here and sketch. Uh, this sofa is usually covered in old paintings, uh, but I've been tidying up, as I say, um, as part of my sort of end of year clearing of the studio. But I'll usually sit here and sketch or read through some art books if I feel like I need a bit of inspiration. Like most artists, I've got loads of art books. Most of them are in the bookcase behind the Christmas tree. But these are the ones that I've got out and that I'm looking at and enjoying at the moment. Um, and I keep a stack of boards here. These are just canvas boards that I um, tape my paper to for painting and then clip it to my um, Arteza desk easel. My painting desk is an old sort of Victorian um, mahogany leather topped 
um, desk. And I like to stand at the end here on the right and paint at my desk easel. Um, I can set things up on my desk, references, sketchbooks, all sorts of things like that. And the chairs and tables, the little ones that I have around the desk, will support the computer and any other reference material or extra palettes that I'm working from. Um, so I work from sketches um, that I do plan air or from photographs. And here's one of the boards, which is set up on my Arteza adjustable desk easel, which I find really perfect for painting at. So that's pretty much the whole setup, apart from storage. Um, I live in my studio, which is one of the reasons why it's fairly homely. And over on the other side of this part of the studio is um, a couple more old dressers. And I use the shelf, shelves here for inks. I've got an awful lot of inks. I've got some Dr. Martin's inks. I've got some beautiful handmade inks by the London Pigment Co. Um, my waterproof fine liners that I use a lot of for line and wash. And then in this drawer here is where I keep all my larger sheets of paper and my large blocks and pads. I like this deep drawer. I think it's really good for keeping and storing my larger pieces of watercolour paper. Um, well, my pieces of uh, quarter imperial and my larger blocks are just safely out of the way. But nice and easy to go and grab when I feel the inspiration to start painting. I have Arsh cold pressed and rough in both blocks and sheets. Um, I find it a lovely paper to use. All my paper that I use is cotton. I prefer to paint on that. And then from St Cuthbert's Mill, I really like Milford paper and Saunders Waterford paper. At the moment, I'm using hot press and I'm using cold press, but I want to get hold of some Saunders Waterford rough at some point in the new year. I've heard it's a beautiful paper to use. And then underneath the drawer in that cupboard is where I keep all my postage supplies. Um, everything that I need to post our handmade paints or to send out um, my paintings that I sell in my Etsy shop, which you can find the link to my Etsy shop in the description below. Well, thank you so much for joining me on this very quick uh, studio tour. I hope you've enjoyed seeing where I work, um, where the magic or the mess happens, depending on your viewpoint. And thanks again for sharing um, on our watercolour journeys. Uh, Morgana and I, of course, will be back next week with more demos for you. Don't forget Morgana's Monday demo, which will be coming up soon. And I think all that remains for me to do now on this lovely Christmas Eve is to raise my glass and wish you good health, happiness and peace for a wonderful winter festive season and the happiest of new years. So I'll see you soon then and happy painting. Bye.